All right. Well, we've started. Well, hello. Hello, Dread. <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. Hi. So, so um, uh, here we are. We are currently. Uh, well, we've gone. We we kind of got to the the monastery. What is it called? Rose to whatever monastery. I can't remember what its full name is. But anyways, we are at the monastery, and we're kind of around the monastery. You said, well, we kind of went around it, and I said, yeah, but we walked up to the front door, and we 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 fought kobolds. They were kobolds. Were they kobolds? What were they? Yeah, uh, those. I think they were cobalt. I think so. The point is that um, we uh, we are about to try to go into the the monastery proper, right? Or at least approach it uh, from at this point. But we're, we we had to do a long rest. We got our spell slots back, and it was funny because we we jumped back in, and, and Dred and I were just sort of chatting and stuff like that. And I thought, you know what? I want to set up my audio levels. I want to set up my audio levels for <laughs> like the dialogue and all that sort of stuff. I reduced the music level a little bit. I've been having, ever since the game kind of crashed and I lost all my settings, I've been trying to get the settings back. The point being is I thought, you know what, I'm just going to quickly have just chat with Carlac just to see what the voice levels are like. And it was so cute. <laughs> and I want to preface this. I want to say something. I, this is very important. <laughs> I have an important thing to say. Okay. Uh, the, the, of the, uh, the three uh, female characters... All right, there's uh, there's um, Shadowheart who's down there doing shadow. No, that's Lizelle. There's Lizelle, there's Shadowheart, and then there's Carlac. Okay, and you know we could talk about the the males as well uh, uh, separately, but we, and we can. But uh, of the three of them, though, I will tell you right now that Carlac actually, out of all of the NPCs, not just the ladies, Carlac is my favorite. I will tell you that without one hundred percent. She's my, because, and do you want to know why? Would you like to know why, Dredd? Why is that? Because I think she's the kindest of them. That's why. I can see that. I think that she has a good heart. So, anyways, <laughs> what was funny is this. Something's on my mind. Oh, was that Gail's granddad? <laughs> 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 that was just I just went oh my god that was so good I tell you the voice acting in this game is so, is so good it really is just awesome oh is that Gail's granddad <laughs> of course we're talking about Elminster right <laughs> um, I, I, I will say I'll say that was Elminster Omar the most famous wizard in the realms <sighs> It doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> all right. Must have had something important to say to Gail if he came all this way. Good news, I hope. See, see, this is what I'm talking about. That she's looking, always looking for the positives, right? This is, you know, whereas Shadowheart's like, oh, well, what, what can he do for me? And Lizelle is like, I could take him. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't think it was. It turns out Gale has an explosive bomb in his chest, and Mistra has asked him to use it to blow up the heart of the Absolute. Whoa, now. He's got a... Well, I guess that would explain a little, but... Mistra? <laughs> I mean, this is a lot to take in. What's he going to do? See, she seems legit concerned, right? Like... I, and I I think from Gail's point of view, this is what I'm trying to say. I think that she's just the kindest of them all. Anyways, um, I think he's going to follow through with it. I don't think he, he'll do that to himself, even if Mr. Commanded it. I'm not sure. I think he's of several minds. I'm just going to pick the, the, that one because you can never know what somebody's thinking, right? I think that's fair. That's that's true. He he he's He's open to trying to find a way to not do it, but he's committed to do it if, if yeah. there's no other option from I, what, our, what we previously now talked what about. We c I, I, I think, personally, we could also go with one. He's going to follow through with it, because I actually do think he would. Because if Mr. told him to do something, he would do it. What do you think? Yeah, I think either one would be fair. You know what? I'm going to go with uh, I think he'll follow through with it. <laughs> Fuck me. There's devotion and then there's stupidity. If the god of magic can't handle this without sacrificing Gale, she's no god at all. 
Well... <sighs> Poor Gail. He must be in bits after hearing that. <sighs> I'll distract him. Tell him I haven't read a book since secondary school. Watch his face melt off. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> She's awesome. <laughs> um, oh. Oh, we've got some infernal metal. What should we do with it? You and Mazora seem to know each other. How? Oh. Uh, that's kind of in... Should we say... Um, do you want to go down? Should we Should we back off some of this stuff and, and, and just get back to it? At this point? Well, if you want to, you can go through a couple of them. I, I'm kind of curious what she thinks about the infernal metal. I am too. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. Yes! We need to go find Damon. I'm going to get a hug. Soon. <laughs> this is my point. All she wants is a hug. She just wants a hug. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> you know, the life goals. Her life goal is to have a hug. <laughs> I think that's, I think it's amazing. I think it's great. Um, okay, so you and Mazora seem to know each other. How? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Oh. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. Oh. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. A little uh, infighting in the uh, evil in the evil side, right? Down in the pits of whatever. A little uh, jockeying for position and 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 jealousy. That's hmm. that's how it happens with the hells, man. I would say so. You know what? I hang on, hang on. I think I can hear the flames, the flickering off of Carlac. You can. That is so cool. <laughs> All yeah, right. They, they've done some really, really great things with the details in this game. They have. They have. Uh, do you think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You think she'd have more important things to do? Devils and their pride. I can see why you were so keen to escape. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. It had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. All right. Change the subject or we're... let's just leave. What's that? I think we can take off now. Yeah. We've heard a lot. I'll tell you. I'll, oh, oh, oh. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I picked up it at the bank. <laughs> I think I stole <laughs> some wine. <laughs> oh, it's not stealing. It's all. I'll tell you what, it's Carlac. I'll tell you what, Carlac. It, and, uh, if we can get you sorted out. Um, the Angela here, she'll be the first one to give you a hug. Okay. All right. Does that sound like a good idea? Not. We're not talking like nothing, you know, um, uh, sultry or anything. Just a hug. A nice, friendly, happy hug. A welcome uh, to the not uh, burning alive hug. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. A hug can lead into lead to several things. Very no, quickly. not necessarily. You can have. It can be a perfectly nice hug. Okay. <laughs> a perfectly nice hug. Come on. She look. She just wants a hug. <laughs> you know, you talk to a lot of the other ones and they're all about, oh, you know, can we get into bed or something? Like that. No, she just wants a hug. This is, this is, I, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. <laughs> I'll give her a hug. Maybe she wants a big, big, uh, big tough czar hug. <laughs> all right. Shall we, uh, shall we break camp and go back and see what's going on? Uh, we have our party. Yes. Uh, essentially, it's you, me, uh, Lizelle, and uh, basically Asterion. Our, so we've got the uh, magic user, the fighter. We've got a basically another couple of fighters, right? And then we've got the uh, the rogue. We don't have a healer though. But I yeah, we've been doing okay so far with that one. Exactly, and I'm kind of hesitant to switch out Lizelle for Shadowheart because this really is a Lizelle level. This is about the crash. She kind of needs to be there. What's that? I'd highly recommend keeping Lizelle for this. I, 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 th I would just do it anyways. Like that, this is like Lizelle. This is a Lizelle thing, right? 
So it just makes sense. All right, um, let's go back to, uh, let's leave camp. Oh, All right. Rosie Morn. That's it, Rosie Morn. Uh, okay, so we're... This is where we were. We were fighting all these people. There was, like, uh, booze and stuff. And, yeah, Cobalt's. Cobalt Scout. And I think we were gonna head... Uh, oh. It looks like we can jump... Oh, you wanna jump up there? Okay. I, I don't, know I don't think there's a way... I don't think we can go that way. I think we have to go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you were right. I think you're right. I think we need to jump over here. Um, it does seem that way, huh? <laughs> There's a lot of jumping. Yeah, Starian's not doing his jumps because he's a little weak. Is he a we is he weak? He is. He is not strong. He is fast and accurate though with that bow. <laughs> he's a glass cannon. <laughs> is what he you is. Know, that's that, that's one thing I probably have to say about this game. That's that's kind of. I don't want to say disappointing, but it, it locks you into pretty much having a Starion in your party unless you're going to play a rogue of some sort. <clears throat> uh, unless you convert an existing party member to a rogue. Yeah, it's... it's. Um, You'd have to do that, which you, you, technically is possible was, with Withers, right? I mean, we could convert Shadowheart into a rogue. Couldn't we? Yeah, we could. So it is possible, but generally you need a rogue in, in pretty well. Like, that's your classic. Magic user, fighter, uh, healer, and thief. That's your. That is your classic composition of a uh, of a of a party. I mean, that's that's just kind of the way it is. Yeah, and I know there's there's people that play without without. Like they play solo. They'll solo the darn thing, and that's just without any without cool, any but... companions. Yep. Wow. They they play better than I do. <laughs> I'm not seeing Got anything it. special here. Now, presumably, we can this barricade. We can get through it, right? Yeah, I think you just put on it. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> or we could czar it. We could just go czar. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. There's also what's over here. Hang on. Hang on. What's what? Hang on. I'm just going to take a quick... I'm not sure what's going on over there. I hear sounds. Do you see anything? There's like a, there's like a whole little... Is there anything in here? This is like a hidey hole. Um, I don't think it's... I think it's just part of the... Part of the uh, design of the monastery. I can't break this glass. Oh, let's... Okay. <laughs> let's go... Oh, no, don't talk to... Don't talk to Asterian. That's not what we were wanting to do. Um, this has the look of a trap, but I'm not sure. These boards are kind of... <laughs> okay, we've got a door here. Oh, what did someone say? Oh, it's someone crying. A hidden voice. Wah! Okay, um... Do we want to do we want to clear this area before we? Oh, I guess we should uh, we should probably go be and hide. Um, do you want me to check out on this balcony? Yeah, go for it. I also hear flapping. Never wanted the easy path. Flapping like, like flippity flappity. Yeah, like a set of wings flapping. Uh. You know, I'm, I'm basically, I was able to, like, go right through that wall and look around. There's, I don't see, but that doesn't, that we're not, probably not going to see, uh, well, there's a wooden trunk over here. I'm just, I'm just going to open it and hope for the best. Oh, nothing in it. Okay. I don't see anything else. There's another door over here. Do we want to do that door or this door? Well, whatever works. I'll tell you what, hang on a minute. I'm, I'm going in there with the camera, and I'm listening. I don't hear anything. 
Okay. All right. I, basically, that's oh, the, the what? That's funny. I just I, I saw I was roaming around with the camera. There's a way to bypass that entire cobalt area that I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is there? Uh, well, that's okay. The cobalts were it's fun. Okay. We got XP. We got. They were fun. The we we we. Uh, it was it was. Oh, there's a climbing vines out here. Knotted roots. Do you see this? Yep. Oh, we could have. We could have. We could have. Didn't didn't we come in that way and we went right through? We could have gone. Is that what you're talking about with the uh, using these vines to get up to the to this uh, landing and go around the cobalts? Yeah, that's one of them. And if you mouse into the room, up in the like the at the west, the west portion of the room, there's some there's a barricade there that you can break down. And then. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Um. Do okay. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sneak up with Lizelle. Ready for anything. And I'm gonna open this door. You ready? Yeah, go for it. I'm not seeing anything uh, special. Lizelle, why are you not crouched? I asked you to crouch. Okay, d d am I the only one hearing a bell? Uh, perception failed. Turning around. Oh, there's a Grimishka. What are these? Do you see these Grimishkas? Yep, and they have something called a magic allergy. What does that mean? Can you over them? Yeah, 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 I see that. Hit T? I think you can hit T, yeah. They have no resistances. They have magic allergy. Allergic to magic. If a spell or cantrip is cast close to them, uh, it might react to the magic and trigger random effects. I assume that it's some like of those effects... Magic. Huh? Wild magic, it's yeah. Like wild magic. Uh, they you. They've got dark vision. They have an AC of thirteen. Hmm. There's a lot of them, and they are hostile, aren't they? It seems that way because when we mouse over them, they're red. I'm not exactly sure why. I'm going to go back out here and hide. Come on. Come on. All right. Uh... All right. I'm hidden again. Okay. 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 So you didn't open your door, but I opened my door. And uh, I don't know if they, they haven't seen us yet, which is weird because nope. we were in full view. Yeah. You, you passed some of your... Uh... Your hiding checks. Okay, I'm gonna do something. Uh, it's gonna get maybe oh maybe only one of them. One of them's in water. I was gonna like use some sort of electricity and just and electrocute them. But I think only one of them is actually in water. No, they're not in water. I was going to use magic against them, but maybe I shouldn't. What do you think? I whatever, you, however you want to start it, go for it. I'll, All right, I'll follow you up as soon as, as soon as battle starts. That's okay. That's not what I wanted to do, Lizelle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use Lizelle. I'm going to uh, I'm going to use the bow on one of them. Uh, Eighty-eight percent uh, chance of this guy. Are you ready? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> what? Oh, they didn't know what happened. Nope, she succeeded her self check, but she's not hidden again, so she'll have to crouch down. Yeah, I did, I did, I did. <laughs> you try shooting again. <laughs> I got stealth checked again. Yep. <laughs> Should I fireball that whole section? 
You could. This is this is probably what I would do. Is I would I would shoot again. Oh oh oh! They, we've been spotted. Okay, so they're bomb rushing you. Yeah. Better be careful with any magic. Spells set them off. Oh, okay. Apparently, uh, 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 Angela just simply uh, warned us against using magic. Just so you know. <laughs> Lizelle, how about... I'm okay with that. <laughs> Smacky smacky! <laughs> and then let the rest of them come to us. I think that... What do you think? I'm going to move Lizelle up to right here. If you want to join me on the side, on the other side here, we'll form a we'll form a barrier, and then we'll be the uh, the the uh, the meat shields. What do you think? Yeah, I don't have any more movement. I use my movement over here to get that one. So I'll oh. do that. okay. Well, I'm gonna just end my turn. I wonder if this is worth okay. the cost. Uh, I'm gonna switch Angela over to her crossbow, and she's gonna come in behind Lizelle. No, that's not what I wanted you to do, Angela. I meant to switch you to the crossbow, not... Oh, my God. And now she can't do anything. Not enough resources. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, they're all... They're coming! They're coming! <laughs> it's an angry... They, they're like... They're like uh, little devil... Ca you, oh, the, it's, the opening has been opened. You got to get over there and block it off. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I know you couldn't do it, but uh, yeah. I think we should. This. Sh <laughs> oh, I tried. <laughs> they sound pretty I awesome. My oh, I'm so close to killing him. <laughs> All right, so that's do they, gonna be Zari. Do they give rabies? Um, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think that's what it has that, but I'm just knows? I'm just asking. I, I, I was just making it up. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm not going to bend oh. luck. Do not react. No. Did you go in the other way? Oh, you opened up another opening. Well, hopefully that doesn't backfire. All right. Oh, you've electrified things. You know that we're standing in it, right? Uh, it's it's just a bow. Unfortunately. Oh, he's got a bow that's got an electric charge. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't recognize that, but it shouldn't be magic. Now they're going after you. So, oh, you closed the door. Oh, you went in. Oh well, good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> well, I moved from my last known location, so they didn't know where I was. Uh, I'm gonna do the one in the back, right there. Okay. I, unfortunately, I can't do much more than that. Oh, I could have thrown an explosive. Well, that would have been cool. Ah, oh, lost opportunities. Oh, well. Swift and lethal. That's right, Lizelle. Swift and lethal. Um, how about we start with um, the one right in front of you? This guy. Whack! And... Oh, can she do the... She can do this, um... Uh, what is it called, you said? Cleave? Yeah, it does a, a wide arc in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, 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 critical hit! All right, uh, but she missed the other one. Okay, that's uh, that's all she's got for now. <laughs> you got the critical hit against the door. Really? Door was hit for 14 slashing damage. Oh my god. Okay, I, you know what? I'm just going to be quiet that's now awesome. because that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they can jump! <laughs> Lizelle's getting uh, quite damaged. Sort of, not really. She's actually only lost three hit points. We're, we're still worried about the rabies. You know you got one right there, right? Right next to you? Yeah. Okay. That one's down. They're like vermin. They are. So they were able to get through that gap. Is it because they were diagonal? Uh, it's possible. They're also small. Yeah. So sometimes they can, they can squeeze through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. 
So let's see, we've got just one here. So we had one here. <laughs> oh, there's another one. I didn't see him. Well, there's one oh, to your left and one in front of you. Use my bonus action to shoot my hand crossbow at point blank range. Oh, that works. They can oh, open, open doors. The door. <laughs> Just so you know. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to shoot. Oh, if I shoot that one, it's a disadvantage. And if I shoot this one, it's a disadvantage. Because. This one in melee range. Uh, well, I don't do melee. Um, I could use my, um, my, my, my weapon here, but it does, um, cold damage. Is that the same as magic? I don't think it is. It might be, but I, I think that it actually has to be a spell. All right. Uh, Angela's going to use the, can you hear the sound of her dancing back and forth in the blood? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's tap dancing in the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why it That's jumped awesome. to you, but it did. Oh, the, oh, that one's down. Look, it's all crispy and cold now. <laughs> all right. Is that all of them? Yep. Okay. At least I think it is. All right. So all right. What now? let's take a look inside. Uh, do we see anything? Do we? What's on the, what is on the Grimishkas? What's inside? A uh, tail. I mean, I'll take Grimishka tail. I mean, it could be, uh, there could be like a bounty for them. I think it's crafting material. Or, or kind of like, but also for, uh, oh, you know, they are magical. So when you think about it, maybe, uh, that might, they might have some magical ability. Because they, they, they have, uh, wild magic, right? <sighs> have to keep going. I, I don't, I think there's an allergic to it. Like, I don't think they intended, they intend to, to do that. <laughs> it just happens. But there, oh. are all these, there are these nests as well, these Grimishka nests. And then I'm, I'm uh -huh. just taking a peek in there and letting you grab all the stuff that's in there. Okay. Oh, an oil of accuracy and a scroll of blindness. Okay. There's also a door. Uh, there's a barrel that you can hit and it probably explodes. Oh, there's an iron gate. Oh, it's locked. <clears throat> what the? Get to bring a stereo Seems over. Simple enough. Okay, they're all locked. There's, there's, th they're locked. I'm, I'm assuming these are going to be super hard. Elixir of Necrotic. Uh, resistance. Oh. His Holy Blood, Volume Three, Dawnmaster Vassaid. Okay, I'm gonna try to roll this. It's a 14. So I have a total bonus of 12 to 15, and I rolled a 15, so that's good. <laughs> you made it through. That gate's open. If you want to go check out what was behind it. Well, it's the Elixir of Necronic Resistance. And a uh, oh. Uh, his uh, this missile com commemorates the founding of Rosie Morn Monastery. It says, "For my sins, it only just occurred to me that I had locked in my record keeping of late." But then again, I know we should have been uh, have been busy in our fray with the Sharan thieves. We retrieved the blood, but one of the heretics sinned most heinously. They struck the amber, encasing his blood with a maul of pure void, damaging the most holy relic. As if knowing this blasphemy, and the exposed blood shone with an unbreakable res uh, radiance, reducing the Sharan horde uh, to dust for us to sift from his now holy ground. The relic became far too unstable to carry back to Hap. Thus we fashioned a simple chapel around ourselves here, and have encased the blood within steel to be wielded as a most righteous cudgel against those who sit in shadow. So there is a um, there is a cudgel with uh, with with blood in it, with God's blood in it. Yeah, that, gotta find it. Okay, all right. There's, uh, another, there's another book also that I opened uh, that gate for. 
To keep it from uh, the lustful sacrilege, sacrilege of thievery, our simple chapel will become a great monastery, and the blood shall be secreted away with a great many more wiles than it was before. I find it hard to fathom that we left an artifact in such an obvious open space to begin with. Alas, his light sings away the mistakes of the past, leading to a more fortuitous dawn indeed. So this um, artifact, this, this uh, is maces out in the, out, out in the open. Right? Yeah, it's hidden. He says, it, I find, find it hard to fathom that we left such an artifact in, in, in such an obvious open space to begin with. I think that's, that's, that's how they started, and then they hid it after the Sharon attack. Ah, we have a scroll of dark vision and parables of the Dawn Master. Uh, an epic-looking tome that opens with an illustrated panel of Dawnmaster Visade riding into battle against an army of Sharan clerics. Uh, in his raised hand, his trusted battle axe, its sharp edge glinting in Lathander's light. So the, is the battle axe the, uh, the thing with the blood in it? I thought he said it was a cudgel, like a mace. Yeah, I don't think it is. Interesting. In there's a... There's a puzzle in here that has to do with with stuff that will probably answer your question okay all right all right there's also a doorway over here that i'm going to open where did you go oh well uh i'm still in the same room oh it's locked where, oh there you are there you are there's a locked door over here uh key master <laughs> yeah. Let me just pull out the universal skeleton keys here. <laughs> the Asterian? Yeah. We rolled a 24 on that one, so we're good. <laughs> okay, it's unlocked. Feel free to open. Oh, oh, there's a, uh, oh, there's a chest in here, an opulent chest. There's also a skeleton. Uh, it has a journal of a novice monk. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I accidentally hit O. Um, latest. There's a rumor. Oh, there's rumors of a Githyanki sighting in the region. The Dawnmaster's inner circle think we don't know, but it's all that anyone can talk about. What do they want? Can they be after the blood itself? How would they even have found out about it? Personally, I'm excited. If there really is a Githyanki attack, there's a chance they'll find the uh, they'll fire the lance <laughs> to see if the light of Lathander himself launched forth from the rose from Rosie Morn's roof. That would be something to write home about. Brother Wellen claims he saw it once, and it was so bright it nearly made him blind. Luckily, he he says it's quite hard to fire, uh, but once we do, those Githyanki won't know what hit them. So there's a giant weapon on the roof. Is there like a, a like a, a virtual rail gun up there? Uh, it's it it, it kind of looks like a magical rail gun to me. So we, <laughs> we'll eventually get there. Okay, is it okay? All right. I can't be. I can't imagine that it's just a matter of uh, oh, scroll of chromatic orb. Oh, I'll take that. And uh, scroll of web. Ooh, magic, magic. Lots of magic. Do you see anything in here that's uh, remotely interesting? I think we saw. I think we found it all. I'm just At looking for these... anything hidden. Yeah, I haven't found anything yet. I can't get up on top of these rocks. Hang on. No, in that room though. Can you jump up where I am in that room? I see you. I see you. I had to jump on the... So I had to jump right at... Not that, that corner right there. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> oh, is that a way out? Ooh, there's an upstairs. Oh. And then there's uh, what looks like va uh, vines. Can we not use the vines to get up there? It, it didn't highlight. Oh. Okay, well. Uh, uh, 
Oh, hang on a minute. Evidently, uh, a stereon can't jump up here. It's too high. Oh. Uh. Ooh, try right here. Nope, I got it. <laughs> oh. I will admit that, by the way, this map is very cool, but it's really kind of hard to navigate with the, with the, with this camera system. It's a bit yeah, awkward. It, it... Oh, there's a there's a dead get uh, get Yankee warrior over here. Uh, what? How long has he been here? Ancient get Yankee warrior. He's all uh, wizened. He's got a get the Yankee slate on him. Oh, that's interesting. This all might like that. Get Yankee warrior. A crush must be. The crush must be close, she said. Well, I, I cut her off, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to read it. Uh, this stone disc has Githyanki runes carved into it. Below them is drawn a translation in the, in the common tongue. Location, good. Close to the road, but secluded. Building looks well fortified. Defense, minimal. Seems to be a religious building. Space, ample, underground, hidden. Oh. Was it easy enough to sneak in without being observed? Prime spot for a crash. Suggest immediate occupation. Mal Malar Rahal. So basically, it's um a uh, report on this place as a potential, um, you know, site for a crash. I got 180, 180 XP for sitting on this bench. <laughs> Is that, or was it from reading the uh, the the? Thing. I think it was actually from reading the thing, but yeah, the, it, it was probably from reading it. Yeah. All right. Are we sneaking? We're sneaking. Well, I just sneak stuff. everywhere at this point. That's just so you don't have to. I, yeah. I mean, I can understand that we are kind of in a uh, in a, oh, uh, an occupied monastery, and really the sneaking part is kind of a good idea. Um. There's a rusty dagger and a longsword over there. We can... oh. I'll hold on to him just in case we need him for something. Um, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, oh, there's a there's a big giant eagle up here. I mean, we we could take the eagles out, even though that blue jay is uh is gone. Remember the blue jay that was talking about the eagles, how it stole their nest? Oh, is this the eagle that they're talking about? I think so. Oh, there's a ancient giant eagle and a, and a giant eagle. Well, we could either that or we could talk to them. Are, are these just... Oh, there's a dead kobold in there. And there's also a ceremonial warhammer. Now, this cere uh, ceremonial warhammer wouldn't happen to have blood in it, would it? I don't think so. I think you will definitely find it's it's a process. You'll know it when you see it. Okay. Should we uh, chat with the eagles? Uh, yeah, you might. Do you still have? You don't have to your spell active uh, or speak with animals, huh? No, because we slept, and I don't think I have any more. Um... Let me see. I don't think I have any more animal. You know what I could do? Maybe um, crafting. This calls for careful. For no. Work. Okay. No. It's apparently, it's... not C. Ah. Uh, H. <laughs> H for crafting. Crafting. We have to har see if we can haraft anything. Um. We can do potion of speed. I need. I need some. Uh, I need essence of acorn trif trifle or truffle in order to make. Uh, uh, animal speaking. Yeah, I'm surprised we don't have that. Um, so another option. Do I have I'm a scroll? Through, I'm looking through. Mm, oh, I have check. scroll of animal friendship. Yeah. I'm trying to think of, do you have a necklace or anything that you can equip and cast? Oh. 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 Um. Where? Oh my god. Oh, uh, my inventory has turned into a bit of a travesty. I'm not going to lie. Oh, here we go. Uh, Envoy's amulet. No. Um, Beastmaster's chain. Okay. 
That's, yeah, that's animal friendship, though. That's animal friendship. Yeah. Uh, unworthy. Um, saloon's dream. Uh, talisman aid. That's just a regular gold right. necklace. Dancing lights. Uh, talk to sentient. There's too. the sentient one. Then there's the the um, fey life. Makes it easier for the wearer to succeed death, death saving throws. And then speak with the dead. I think that might be the one that you're thinking of. Yeah, I didn't know if that we maybe had picked up another one in our journeys. No, I don't think we did. Don't think we did. And I don't know if we have, uh, I don't have a scroll. You know what? Should we just, are they, are they like, uh, important? Should we just kill them? Well, without being able to speak to them, I don't know. We may want to, maybe worth, maybe worth coming back. You want to, you, you think there's some value in talking to them? It, it may, it may be worth it. Mm. I'm also going through your, your looking at your stuff too just in case we missed one yeah I don't I, I could have something but I don't think I do do it I mean, I'm going to do something real quick uh -huh. see if I accidentally put I'm going back to camp just to check to see if I put, accidentally put one in my chest okay maybe I put one in my chest hmm uh, I'm going to camp too Okay, and we're sneaking. We're still sneaking. What's inside? I don't think I did. I don't really have a lot in my uh, in my chest. Uh, yeah, I'm not sneaking. Yet. Scroll of fear. I was just looking in uh, Shadowheart's inventory. Is what I was looking in. It's mostly food. Yeah, same here. I don't have a whole lot. Lightning aura. Xanite. I have a uh, bludgeoning, of, uh, basically a magic mace. And yeah, I don't have. Do we have any? What was it that I needed? Um, I'll look uh, at that. Acorns. The crafting menu. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, acorn truffle. Essence of acorn truffle. Is there no other way to do it? It has to be essence of acorn truffle. Yeah, we we have to we have to pick up um, some of the acorns off of the like the road. I didn't I'll, know I'll that. We're in about about. Yeah, we, we usually pick up everything and then we uh, convert them over. Actually, hit H real quick. See the button that says extract all ingredients down at the bottom of that window? Nope. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. Uh, we did get the uh, the Grimishka's tail. Hang on. Hang on. We got something uh, that was related to Grimishka's tail. Uh, tadpole? No, there was something. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Suspensions? No. <laughs> we got all right you know what we don't have it we don't have it um potion of animal speaking it's too bad i guess there's no oh can we go somewhere with oh man this kind of sucks doesn't it what's the close what's the nearest place we can go to a uh to a, a, a shop um, so we have, well, I, we don't have to worry about nearest, right? Because we have the ability to, um, to what do you call it, uh, to fast travel. Mm -hmm. So we have the ability to go to the Mykonoid colony. If, I think if, that's, if they, if I think there. the Mykonoid colony is the best because it's got what's his face oh. and he has lots of specialty things. Yeah, but there's also um, the Emerald Grove and then that lady yeah. that's outside. I thought there was other people. I can't remember where they are. Yeah, I don't remember either. 
I tell you, I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna go to the the, the crags. Uh, I'm gonna go and to I'm, the. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Mykonen colony. Okay, that works. Well. You're entering a different region. Oh. Is that a problem? Um, it, well, we both have to go. That's not a big deal. I was gonna split up and see if I can see if this old lady. Oh. Has stuff. Okay. Where's the old lady? Um, the fast travel point is like the at, at the bottom of the list. It's like Terra. Cra it's a crags one. So you bring up the map. Oh. You scroll to the bottom. That crags one. Oh, isn't that the lady that we were talking to that wanted the baby? Yep. Okay, let's go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was the she was one the one that wanted to do some uh, horse trading of babies. Breathe deep and move. Does she have anything? Oh, it's making me chat to her. Chat with her like you did. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a rogue's morsel. I'm going to grab that because it's become apparent that we should be picking up everything. <laughs> I hear the bear. There's a bear down at the hill. Okay. All right. She's making you talk to her? Is that what's happening? Yeah, I'm trying to get through it. If if we have a... Uh... Hmm. I mean, really, I need to learn how to speak to animals. Period. That is so yeah, useful. That would help. Yeah. So I'm looking at her stuff right now. I am not seeing anything that would help us. She doesn't have a potion or scroll. I'm even looking for, like, acorns or something like that. You know, just for regents. But reagents, regents, however you want to call them. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so... She looks like she's a bust. Okay. Um, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, okay. So if we wanted to go back to uh, the Mykonid territory, because I think that's yep, probably our best that. bet, uh, how would we go about it if, with uh, while, without breaking up the team? Oh, just go ahead and go, and then well, I'll we'll, we'll accept it. We'll go together. Done. <laughs> yeah we should have I should have been on top of this a little bit better to be honest with you oh I, I don't think we've missed a whole lot um, I, I think at one point you you crafted a, a decent amount of those potions and that might be why we don't have any because we, we typically or at least I know I always pick them up whenever I see them yeah all right, I'm going to talk to Blurg, I believe. Is Seems who like a good moment to talk. Welcome back. Hi, Blurg. Have you made any new discoveries? Oh, he wants to ask, uh... Do you have anything interesting no, to trade? I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Sure thing, Blurg. All right, um... Now he... Oh, severed foot. He's got imp pen... Okay. Um... I don't see anything. Any like what about the circlet and stuff? Are there any? Oh wait a minute, circlet. Okay, scorching ray, uh, life charger. Um, even even oh here we go, psychic spark. That's magic missile. Wow, you uh, an actual uh, magic. Oh, can you only use it once? Um, no. It's just, it's like additional a, it's dark. It's like a one per day or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Zorn scales. I don't see anything about acorns, and I don't see, well, we, I think we cleaned them out, didn't we? Yeah. Next place we could try is the Emerald Grove. Okay. Very well. I just can't I think of anywhere else that we have a uh, trade open right now. What's that? I can't think of anywhere else that we have trade open right now. Uh, I can't recall. Do, 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 Just go into the druid's grove that's all abandoned and there's no druids left and because they... Oh, wait a minute. Actually, are there any druids left? Yeah, all the druids are here. Okay. The, um, the... 
tieflings are the ones that left. Oh. Kaga's here. He's she's just hanging out. Yeah, she's not um super happy with us. Well, that's because she's an it doesn't matter. I mean she's an awful uh awful individual. You wanna you wanna talk to the to Aaron? I go for it. Okay. It'll take a while for us all to recover. But you've helped us take the first step. Alright. Because he's a druid. Um Of course. Isn't he still here? Oh look at look at all this crap that you've sold him. Uh we've sold him. You it was a group effort. You nope, you've sold him. You sold him all this crap. <laughs> is that one right there? Is that is that po a potion right there? Um, I would love to be like able in to the middle, search. the very middle of the screen. Left right. one. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, oh boy, now I've lost it again. Uh, ah, up oh. a little bit, up like three, yeah. and then second column. Oh my god, there it is. Okay, what I'd like is uh, is if there's a scroll as well. They really need to make this a little easier. I need a search field. I need to be able to filter this these output, the results. You know, do you see any acorns? That's a dragon egg mushroom. It looks kind of acorny. Not really though. Rogue's morsel. I'm gonna buy ro uh, Rogue's Morsel because it's a healing thing. Uh, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy some uh, reagents. Yes, I said it like that. <laughs> um, yeah, what if we, we're both know what we're talking about. I do. I know. But I was, when I hear regents, because regents is is a royalty. <laughs> yeah, the other thing I was thinking is that there. I don't know if we sold him a ring. Or a necklace or anything that has that ability on it. Uh, uh, flinging. There's boots of striding. I don't think we did. I think we've. Uh, I mean, he's, there's some breastplate stuff. I did take a quick look. Swamp green dyed, dark vision, uh, hide armor. I'm just looking at all the magic items. <laughs> there's not a lot, honestly. No. Like, we've sold a lot of the magic armor, but not much else. Uh, Baldurian Mash! Oh, ho, ho. that sounds amazing! <laughs> not really. Are we done? I think we're done. All right, I'm going to balance the offer and uh, do the barter. There we go. Okay. May you keep balance. I will. I will. So we've basically bought ourselves one shot at this. Yep. That's that's exactly what we've done. Uh, Rosie Morn Monastery, uh, shall we? Oh, you're not ready to proceed. Oh. Nope. I'm. I'm. Since we're here, I'm selling my junk. Oh, I didn't know that. And okay. I, I was trying to do it real quick before you. Before I you, uh, you. I almost won. I can't get out of this. <laughs> you got me. Uh, click accept. Doesn't work. Oh. Okay. I thought it was going to force you to to do it. To yeah yeah yeah. Go for it. I mean, I was going to sell some stuff. Well, yeah. Hang on, Aaron. I'm done. It'll take a while for us all to recover. All right. Hang on. If we're going to help us if take we're the selling, first step. If we're selling junk. Of course. If we're selling junk, then um, why not? I've got junk, too. Um, I'm going to... Oh. Oh, there's the stuff on Lizelle. Uh, she doesn't need these great swords and stuff like that. So, And a, uh, a short bow... Uh, flint. Oh, do we need... Is there any cause for uh, a flaming fist helmet? Or should we just hang on to one just in case? Uh, if it's not if it's not special or magic, like if it doesn't have any border, I just get rid of it. Constitution saving throws plus one. I mean, Lizelle doesn't have a helmet right now. Or a cloak, but no, no one has a cloak. Never mind. Uh, or rings. Get the Yankee. Oh, wait a minute. Is some of this her stuff? Uh, um, it's just in her inventory. It's not her actually uh, what's equipped to her. No, but that's because we gave her better armor. But this half plate, is this Githyanki? I don't want to sell the Githyanki stuff. I think it's just generic. I think it is, too. Uh, and essentially a dagger. 
uh, I'm gonna sell that. And then my stuff, I've got, um, I could sell the rope. We don't need rope, do we? I just keep grabbing it for some reason that I can't. Um, uh, malachite, uh, agate, uh, bloodstone? I don't I think, think- I think it's all just stuff to sell. I think you're right. Uh, gold necklace, bronze necklace. Uh, I'm not gonna. Oh, and a silver amulet. It doesn't have. It doesn't have anything special about it. A torch. <laughs> Basilisk oil. I'm gonna keep that. I don't know. A uh, cup of oil. I think the rest of this I can keep. But um, like I said, I just had a few. Oh, adamantine slag. I'm gonna hang on to that. How much is it worth? One. Maybe it's not useful in any way, shape, or form. No, if you read the description, I think it tells you like that's it's just leftover. Well, it's slag. It's small. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the adamantine slag. All right, good enough. I mean, I just wanted to unload a few things. Okay, 431. Woo! May you keep balance. <laughs> sure thing, buddy. All right. Um, are we heading out? Yeah, we can go ahead and go back to the monastery. Um, quick. Uh, fast travel. Waypoint. That thing. <laughs> already there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> They're already moving. I don't remember where the, uh, Rosie Morn. Oh, there it is. It was. It oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. Now, we can. We can, uh,. We can get up there before me. Uh, by going up the uh, up on top of this little thing, and then we can climb up the the uh, the vines. I think that's why these are here, by the way. I'm just saying. Probably. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's it. Scurry on up. Okay. Is there a? Uh huh. The, the funny part about the um, about this is like we could have skipped all the kobolds, but the kobolds were kind of fun. Oh, I like the kobolds. The kobolds, the kobolds to, I I thought that they were kind of enjoyable. Now we want to so, go into this back room, right? And then we need yeah, to go. Yeah, up. There's, mm -hmm. Well, there's also something here. If you if you come and let's see, I don't know where you. I am trying to. There we are. Oh, we didn't go through here. No, there's some there's some stuff on this on this floor we can look at. Oh, are you saying we skipped a whole bunch by going upstairs? Uh, not that we skipped, but yeah, you know, we we it's we did just go upstairs, you know. Okay. Maybe uh, there. You, say it's, you know what's going to be funny is on the way up there we're going to find an animal uh, speaking potion. <laughs> I need to to see if I have a uh, spell for that and then t pick it as one of my sorcerer spells. There's plaques. Let's see. Dawnmaster Vasaid. Ah, Vasaid. Dawnmaster Welkin Glory. There is a ceremonial longsword on top of that one. These are crypts. Dawnmaster Seed. Okay, so there's there's uh these are are uh, crypts by the looks of it. Aren't they? Or maybe not. Oh, and... Dawnmaster Stockhold. Okay. And then in the middle, there's a, uh, st a stained glass window. Uh, if we go out onto that, are we going to fall through and die? No, no, it's solid. The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. Lathandarian monasteries of this size were usually overseen by dawn masters, esteemed members of the clergy. <laughs> a very long pause. It is. A, I was like, wait for it. Wait for it. I did get a um, religion. Oh, I rolled on. Hmm? Probably like left or right clicking in the middle somewhere. 
Oh, examine the the image marked Dawn Master Seed. The reconsecration of the monastery conducted by Dawn Master Seed. Okay. Um Okay, look at Dawn Master Stockholm. Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawn Master Stockholm. Uh-huh. Inspect the broken stained glass window. How about take a look at Dawnmaster Wel Welking Glory? Dawnmaster Welking Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lathander's name. Inspect the broken stained glass window. Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding... The rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Uh, I'm guessing it's a mace. What do you think? I don't know. They all seem to be wielding something. Except for him. I think, if I remember correctly, you read a book. I did. That talked about him doing something. He Well, he didn't. He ride into the thing carrying a mace or war, uh, uh, something. I can't remember. But I have a ceremonial warhammer on me. Oh, no, I have a ceremonial mace. Uh-huh. There's a ceremonial longsword over here. You want me to grab it? I'm not going to, like... Uh, yeah, yeah. Bad things aren't going to happen if I grab it, are they? The weapon stopped glowing. How odd. Oh. Okay. It stopped glowing as soon as I picked it up. Yeah, and if you look at the picture... That was the dawn master that was that was that was wielding the sword, right? Yeah. Oh, this one is—he's wielding a mace. This guy here, or a hammer. This guy, what is he wielding? The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. He's where—he's got a hammer, right? Um. Dawn Master Welkin Glory beckons forth the rising Sword. sun in Lathander's name. Okay. And the reconsecration of the, the monastery hammer. conducted by Dawn Master Seed. Okay. And then there's uh Even Song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawn Master Stockhold. He's got a uh, he's holding a um, an amulet. Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding oh. the rest of the inscription and actually picture he, they all have amulets. Away. Okay, uh, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> what? Well, so I have a ceremonial mace. That was a ceremonial warhammer, right? So I was trying to see if I could put it down there, but I keep getting damaged. I think it's probably because I don't think the weapon belongs there. I'm getting hurt. Okay. Um, so if I were to put the sword back on uh, the... Wait, 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 wait. Which one was the sword? This one? This one. If I were to go up here... Right? And I think what it is... Uh, you want me to drop the sword here? Um, I think so. Uh, drop item. Oh, no, okay, not that. Uh, he, she dropped it on the ground. Yeah, so try this. Um, pick it up in your inventory, open up your inventory, and then move the camera so that you can see the, the altar. Yeah, and then place it on the uh, altar. Yeah, and drag and drop. Okay. Ah, it lit up! <laughs> I found where the mace went. Oh! Okay, that's the guy that wasn't well, uh, wielding anything. So that's the mace. See, this guy has a hammer. I think a hammer is different. Where did you get the ceremonial uh, mace? I just picked it up somewhere. Oh. I have no idea. I don't have any ceremonial weapons. Okay, so we've only... Okay, then that means we've done two of them, right? Yes, we need to find the others. Okay. So a hammer and then whatever other ceremonial one that we have that we don't know from this, the broken glass. More ceremonial things. All right. Uh, that works. 
All right, let's head out. Oh, so wasn't wait, 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 wait. There was a ceremonial mm -hmm. item in the eagle's nest. Oh, was there? Uh, yes. Yes. But do you want to go that way, or do you want to jump over here first? Well, we can. We could just. Yeah, go over there. 